Hey everybody! I'm Sam. I'm Caleb. And I'm Will. And we are... Working Title! I fucking oh, that's, it. I was like, <laughs> is, he, is he grabbing his Phantom of the Opera mask? Wait, look at me again. Yo, don't, don't, don't touch me. I'll have some. You're done! <laughs> he can keep his top. That was a great line. That, that was, was tough. amazing. Guys, we are back for another episode of House of the Dragons. This is the penultimate, the big number nine. You know what always happens during episode nine. Fuck. Nothing good. Nightmares. But here we are. We're going to see if it holds up to Game of Thrones. Uh, last on, Vaman separated. Dinner table disaster. Disaster. <laughs> and the king is gone. Dead. So. R.I.P. Guys, make sure you leave a like on these videos if you've been enjoying your time with us or just enjoying the reactions in general from some of our other shows. Subscribe to the channel. We'd appreciate the support. We are on the road to 50K. We got a fun video uh, lined up for us for when we hit that milestone. So help us reach that goal. Check out the Patreon if you want to check out some of our other shows. If you might be an anime fan and you're a crossover, well, surprise, we got Death Note in the works. Full Metal's wrapping up. Get it while you can. One to two week early access. We got Studio Ghibli movies available as well. Berserk is going to be making its debut very soon. Halloween is approaching. Yeah. So get yourself ready. And make sure you support the show. We don't own it. And we're going to punch it, y'all. See ya. It's a sad night indeed. The king is dead. Long live the king. I always think that line's pretty tough. Yeah. What is dead man ever dies are pretty up there too. Yeah, that's pretty simple. <laughs> oh. You told me you wish I could to be king. That's not it's what the he, truth. It's not what he meant. I don't blame her for misinterpreting that. I know, <laughs> but it's gonna cause so much chaos. So I like, shouldn't name their kids after all these past or future people. Name <laughs> on the twentieth of his name. I know it's crazy. Roll the ball. That's cool. What is it? Could not wait an hour. Was Dawn invaded? The king is dead. Damn. But he has left us a gift. Fuck. With his last breath, he impressed upon the queen his final wish mm. that his son, Aegon, should succeed him as Lord of the Seven Kings. See, that's yeah. gonna come off like such bullshit, like, because no one can disprove that. And Rhaenyra <clears throat> was just called the only child. Yeah. Then we may proceed now with the full assurance of his blessing on our long leg plans. The treasury is well in hand. The gold will be divided for safekeeping. Let ravens be sent to our allies. See, he doesn't like this either. Am I to understand that members of the small council have been planning secretly to install my son without me? My queen, there was no need to sully you with darkling schemes. I will not accept. It is treason at the least. My it is your tongue, Lyman. The king was well last night. Oh, 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 no. Watch your words, old man. Come on. What did you hear? You swear? don't want to pull a vein, man. He died of I will have no See, part of He's dead. Is that Good job, Kristen. Good job, Kristen Cole. You dumbass. Dude. Throw down your sword and remove your cloak, Sir Kristen. Thank you. Please don't put him to. No. Try it. It's Dwalin. Commander you know they're gonna give Kristen the W if he fights him. Oh, I know. There was no insult to me, Sir Kristen. Don't hurt Grandma Cabbage. As they come to this, Lord Commander, enough. He's gonna resign like what's his face does. There is a cell in Now, the door remains shut until we finish our business. <laughs> well, the only person that opposed you now is dead, so what do you need to finish? You're not even gonna let him, like, take him out the room? <laughs> I would, if I was him, I would do like the whole Tyrion thing, slide the chair awkwardly away. <laughs> I can't believe they killed that dude. The king wouldn't wish for any of the king did not wish for the murder of his daughter. He loved her, I will not have you denied it. 
Yeah. Not a word, and I'll have you removed from this chamber and sent yeah. to the wall. Yeah, Mr. Dark Schemes. Yeah. I, I don't even know what his name is. Get the fuck out of here. What do you suggest, Your Grace? Continue on. Yes. Continue on with Rhaenyra as princess or queen. That's not gonna happen. No. She's all bent out of shape because of dark schemes, but in, she's still gonna go through with Lord the Lord Commander Westerling, take your knights to the Dragonstone. Be quick and be clean. Yeah. Good. 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 I retire. You're not gonna soil my cloak. <laughs> After all these years. I am Lord Commander of the King's Guard. Yeah. I recognize no authority but the King's. And until that is one, no. I have no place here. Thank good. you. Good, good, good. Good. Fuck. I'm not a mercenary. What a good I'm man. a King's Guard. So this fucker's gonna get the job. Of course he'll go kill those kids. He's not in his rooms. He's probably not being a whore. Down the brothel. Father. Fucking hate Aegon, man. <laughs> they honestly need that. He has two kids. Castrate them. Please. This feels very, uh... What's happened? The music is very season six, whatever that is. <laughs> Seth the Baylor, yes, kaboom. Yes, yes, It's the piano of yeah. death, is what, what we what can call it. What kind of it. horrible Westerosi terrorism are we going to see today? There is a peace Why does she keep saying that? What does that mean? I don't... This kid has been weird for her entire you know, life. She speaks in prophecies, the dragon dreams, as they call them. <laughs> Luna Lovegood, guys. Yeah, yeah, the Witcher. There's the red. He's gonna command him to go kill the kids. Take no one else but your brother. The twins. Oh. Oh. Eric and Eric. Oh. Bring him to me and me alone, Sir Eric. Are they gonna have Aegon killed? They got killed by. Because he's a fucking liability. Oh no, what's gonna happen with her? Rainus. No. Oh my god, dude, I can't. No, don't kill this another one in this family. Corliss oh, isn't even dead yet. No, is I forgot she's still at this house. Oh, Ron, sis. Shoot. Oh, they're just putting every they're putting everybody in jail. This is ultimate lockdown. Is that everyone who knows the king died? Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> anyone layers, who, anyone who's in the castle, so rumors can be contained. closed and contained, yeah. No one will tell you. I'll come with you. That would not be my desire, Eamon. Let's go, Eamon. We'll leave the weapon one, two. So, okay. Why do they both want them separately? Like, the queen wants Aegon to come to her only. Because he, she wants to protect her son. But... But the hand wants Otto wants him too. Like, what's he gonna do with him? Is it just to make sure that he's safe within the walls because he's the I next king? I'm the street of silk on my thirteenth name day. The prince is not here. Has he been here? He does not frequent the street of silk. His tastes are known to be less discriminating. Oh. I wish you luck. Good sir. And my best to your friend. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not interested. I'm cool. You once swore your banners to Rhaenyra, you must now pledge them to the future king. No, don't all just fall in line. Bend the knee. I must confer first with my house on this matter. You'll not leave this room without declaring your intention. Is that a threat, Hightower? It definitely is. <laughs> I will not bend the knee. That's not going to end well for you, my friend. Respect. Your house is going to get crumpled, big dog. Things, sorry. Did, things that do not bend Anyone great, else? though. No! Don't fold! Very well. Are they getting thrown in jail or are they going to be killed on the spot? Probably jail. Jail time. Ooh, okay. I guess that is smarter so you don't have houses coming at you and siding with the other team. What I'm curious what his his, yeah. his next step in this race is because he's been kind of a backseater. Yeah. I mean, he's going to play the ladder. Backseaters get far. Yeah. Kings come and go and I remain. Yes. 
Fighting pits? What the? The Hound Pit Pub. Oh no, are they gonna feed these kids like animals? They're gonna make them fight each other. Yeah, children fighting children. Dang. Oh. oh! Dude, I don't know. Oh. I'm just sitting in the corner. Thanks, I don't spend many a night in this place. Do you see now what we You must see now. He's just fucked in the head. And he always has been. I got one of the many wager. What? Bastards. Oh. It is I, the younger brother, who studies history and philosophy. It is I who trains with the sword, who rides the largest dragon in the world. It is I who should be... He should be the king. Mm, oh no. He doesn't even I know what it is to toil for what others are freely given. Mm. I'm next in line to the throne. Should they come looking for me, I intend to be found. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Maybe my stance will change. Maybe he ain't gonna back his little brother or his yeah. older brother as I might have thought he might. So you'll find no buyers for your wise here. She knows something. She's been following them since the streets. White worm lady? Probably. Well done, so I want to know where he is. Yeah, it's white worm. I'll tell you. What is it? What does she know? Where is he? Who is he? What if Rhaenyra and Damon like took him, like kidnapped him ahead of time? That'd be clever. Get out of there, bald man. I have a feeling like anyone who tries to walk away, arrows. Oh. oh. Damn. Thought they were gonna try to be more sly and call me a traitor. Dude, I'm afraid for her. I came here to ask your support. Well, I must credit you for your boldness. Past Benaro has allowed itself with the Princess Rhaenyra, and what has it gained you? Your daughter dead? Alone in Pentos? Mm. Your son cuckolded? Rhaenyra's heirs are none of yours. Bro! It is your husband, Damn. who grasped so heedlessly for the throne. Since when I loved my husband, but I will speak the truth we both know. You should have been queen. Huh. Huh. I little thought to hear those words from you. The Iron Throne was yours by blood and by temperament. We do not rule, but we may guide the men that do. Away from violence and sure destruction at least step And you're doing so good with Aegon. Yeah. Peace, even <laughs> Very well adjusted child. Yeah, you've uh, raised a monster. monster. We are overmatched. Rhaenyra will be tempted to strike us and war will ensue. You are wiser than I believe you to be. Mm. And yet you toil still in service to men. True. Your father, your husband, your son. You desire not to be free but to make a window in the wall of your prison. Mm. Mm. Imagine yourself on the Iron Throne. Um, yeah, I bet you have. I mean, considering uh, all the other options, she, she might be a better it. one other than Rhaenyra. I'm like, I'm very curious who's gonna be taking it between this and between freaking Aemon now. The, I mean, there's like six people that can find yeah, right now. That's crazy. I'm I. I feel like it's any man's like game at this point. Yeah. Or a woman's game at this point, you know? Okay. The other two. <laughs> Eric yeah. and Eric. Eric and Eric. And Eric. Not Eric. So what does she know? You yourself are the mysterious white worm I take it. Or are you simply a further peel in this stinking onion? <laughs> My condolence is on the passing of your king. <laughs> How did you know about that? She's got ears everywhere too. <laughs> he looks like um, Kermit. Like <laughs> Kermit up to no good. I want an end to the savage use of children in Flea Bottom. Oh. They are forced to Let's die. go. I'm so down. Dude, I told Will. I told you. I said, I'm yeah. on White Worm's team. <laughs> they hide him under the sept. <laughs> <laughs> Good run. Yeah, I don't fucking care about this kid. The white worm should have done far more to him than that. Yeah. Oh! I might not have to wait long. 
I do regret this friend. Oh, brother. Eamon can kill his brother and blame it on Eric. <laughs> or Kristen Cole if he hates Kristen Cole for some reason. No, I, he'll blame it on one of the two twins. Brother versus bro. Oh, shoot. And he's just watching. <laughs> Eric, too, doesn't give a shit. Because our father truly dead. Yes. And they're going to make you king. Oh, my God, Where's your brother? Huh? And he's leaving. What was up with that? Why the other the other brother? Because the jump? one because the one hated one of the brothers hated him. Let me go. We'll find a ship and sail away, never to be found. No. I cannot believe it. Oh, We've relied on one another these many years, and now it is the good of the family that we both desire. Whatever our differences, our hearts remain as one. I don't know about that. Our oh, hearts were never one. Oh. I see that now. Rather, I've been a piece that you moved about the board. If that is true, then I made you queen of the seven kingdoms. Would you have desired it otherwise? How could I know? Yeah. I wanted whatever you impressed upon me to want. Yeah, she never had her own true. choice. And now the doubt comes to you. Yeah. Your grace. Dude. Why are you always in places where I don't want you? I found out something you should know. Whose side is he playing this time? Otto's or hers? Or his own? If you asked yourself, I wonder how it is that your father, the hand, found Eckhart first. Is he with the White Worm? Maybe. Probably. Scandalous. More than once it has proved advantageous to those willing to... Deal with him. Feed the Weaver. He's lost her. This Weaver watches me. Are we serious? I knew it. Is he a foot? Take off your socks. Is he a foot guy? Okay. Is this all for feet? He's a functioning foot guy. Dan Schneider. That's not what they're All for thought. feet? Yeah, you're right. Never mind. Fuck. One of the little spiders is your lady in waiting. There's no way. This is actually the thing. not Tell getting more dumb while he's no, staring at toes. Like I'm walking out if he starts sucking toes. And the queen dies, if you wish it. It will be done. Dude, why? It'll stop. I cannot believe this show. I fucking hate HBO, George R. R. Martin, House of the Dragons. What the fuck? Is he doing all this for toes? Nothing? Like, well, he, doesn't, he doesn't want power, he just wants toes? This has always been for toes. Bro, he literally just put his... Just that. They did that. Nice. Don't, you can't slow pan after that. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. Yes, you can. And they will. How do you feel about that, Night King? I wish the Night King would have won right here, right now. How do you feel about it? Maybe oh, me. One day there will Same. be a Night King win. Me. Bro, what the... I hate this show. With me, Princess. I can not let this treachery stand. This... I feel like this has to be... A, a the trip. Royal Eric. Or the, the Loyal <laughs> Eric. What? Ooh. Who it's is the guy that? that the, the, the Justice. Uh, King's Justice. Yeah. Served. I feel like she's gonna be just thrown in the prison or killed right or here. Pushed off a ledge. It's the uh, to make it seem like a suicide. The Damon Rhaenyra exit. Just south of Kingsway. This can't be good. Though. Uh, uh, 
Oh, right. Don't they push everyone to the dragon pit? In the pre Remember the preview? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like she's getting melees after all. Theme. It's the king theme. I love it. Yeah. And his proclivity to madness and horrific things are still going to go on, I'm sure. Yeah. It's wild, because this kid looks like straight out of like a panel for like a king in a story. Yeah. A fantasy story. For this freaking moment, and for yeah. what? Yeah, he's still not even signed. You hear that? Yeah, what was that? May the warrior give him. I'm just gonna be like Tracaris. <laughs> hey, hey, yo. May the smith lend strength. May the crone lift her shining dragon. And light oh my gosh. Wisdom. She just like lets all the dragons go free. Millies, where the fuck are you? <laughs> that does look like the artwork that I've always seen for Aegon's crown. This is so awkward. I hate this. This is not a blessed day. This is what brother, a sister. All hail his grace, Aegon, second of his name. King of the Andals and the Rohan and, and the First Men, man. Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector Protect of the Realm! You are not my king. Egg on the king! The king of the North! This is not good. This whole building's gonna be ash. Rhaenyra's gonna be pissed. And so will Damon. So will literally everyone else. It's not in this room right now. So it's cool though. Blackfire? Blackfire. Yeah. Uh, so over the <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Raina said, Who won't smoke? Who won't smoke? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out of here. They ain't gonna forget this uh, crowning ceremony. You tried, you thought, you failed. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a big one. Look at her.
she just got added to Black Air Force energy uh, tier list. Oh my god. Pull up on your block and I bleed and slide. Yeah, good good moment to rewind just for a second. Yeah. <laughs> she looks cool. I like her armor. She yeah. looks tough. Say the word. Say the word. Yeah, she ain't gonna do it. I'm afraid another dragon's gonna come and kill her. Is she gonna die? <laughs> she could have ended that right then and there, but now we're gonna progress to all this war and fighting. Whoa, did you see the way it went through the door? That was sick. It was like... Oh. Man. Everything could have been solved right there. We could have, we could have fixed all the problems. Team Green. Oh, Team Green could have been gone in hey, one fell swoop. Um, I want to watch the preview for episode 10. Do you not want to? I'm going to look at the ground. Okay. Cover my ears. I was going to say, you can... Take a step away, and then me and I'm Will. I'm definitely watching. Me and Will can talk about it at the end. <laughs> Why do you want to watch the preview show? Because I really want to, and I hate this episode so much that I want anything else to talk about. The greens are coming for you, Rhaenyra. And for your children. I wish that was the only part of the preview. You cannot bend the knee to the high towers. They stole your birthright. Every man standing around the painted table urges her to plunge the realm into war. Lay siege to the Red Keeper. Send us. Whoa. Dragons. Big oh, dragon. Oh, I swear to war the queen. Wow. I was going to say, I saw some king's guard at the table. There is a power that has not been seen since the days of old Valyria. Whoa! What was that? That didn't look like this. Uh, it was a different dragon. Oh. You're shysty, oh. that's my dog. But who you know I'm really shysty. I know, I don't care to be told stuff. Do okay. not tell me the behind the scenes. I do not care. Dude, you know what I'm really upset? The one thing I'm super upset about is that I'm going to be away. So we have to wait a couple days to watch this fucking yeah. episode. I'm, I'm going to... Hate if it. Hey. We better not get spoiled. Yeah, great point. Great time to bring up. Next time you see us, it's gonna be a we're gonna be a week delayed, but or a couple days delayed couple than days. usual. But man, I don't like this. Not that I don't like this episode. I I don't like where this is going. The direction is very scary. This, you know, now I feel like how I used to feel when I watched Game of Thrones. Because when I first started watching the show, it was probably like the first adult type of TV show I ever dabbled with. And I really just couldn't enjoy it because I couldn't really connect to most of the characters. I really didn't like... I, and weirdly enough, I, I even had a hard time like trying to like some of the Starks because some of them just irritated me. And it wasn't until... like I think Tyrion was the first person I ever like attached myself to. Yeah. Because he was going around giving advice when people were calling calling John bastard and whatever. But now I just feel back to that. I, I was uh, texting Will in between this week, uh, between last week, because you know the the heated debate between the Greens and the Blacks, and I just I don't like either at this point. <laughs> like it would it would come down to like. Okay, there's something about this character I do enjoy. Oh, then I remember they did this thing. Yeah. And, or I can attach to myself to one nice trait about maybe Allison. And yeah. then, oh, wait, Allison does this other thing that I don't yeah. like about her. And, and then I told Will, I was like, okay, I want to be able to, like, one person, I'm throwing all my cards at the White Worm at this point. And I have a new person added to the list. I'm, it's the White Worm and Graham McTavish. Uh, Dwell in the Kingsguard. Yeah, yeah they had a his name was, his last name started with a W. I forget what it was now. Yeah. I've only mentioned it like twice. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna be voting for the bastards, uh, cripples, and broken things at this point. Yeah, I mean, I think ultimately I am leaning towards Team Black at this point in the series. It's just more so a... Um, I have gripes with a lot of how they do things. Like, Damon, overall, is pretty much a scumbag. I mean, like, he's done a lot of really fucked up things for his own desires. And also, I feel like... I feel like between Rhaenyra and Damon, they haven't done anything to really, like... Be good for the realm. You know what I mean? Like... I, I don't like Team Green at all, period, at this point. Like, I feel bad for Alicent, but she's doing all the wrong things. Aegon is a fucking scumbag. That guy needs to be killed. <laughs> Otto is a sleazeball that's been controlling and ruining his own daughter's life and the entire fucking kingdom for his own personal game, for stability of the realm. You know, like, Laris is fucking weird. <laughs> Kristen Cole... Uh, yeah, I mean, Lar that that alone is like, bro, no, we cannot root for these Any, people. Anything that I had, like, being like, oh, Laris could be considered, like... He good for the Darwin, good no. for the realm. No, yeah. even before that, where I was like, "Oh, maybe he's actually no." This shit, the specific scene, in this episode is like, "Fuck that!" I, yeah. He could he could have saved every orphan in King's Landing. I still would have been like, "Fuck this dude!" I don't yeah. want to ever see no shit like that again, bro. But regardless, <laughs> like Team Green has almost like zero redeeming quality at this point. Whereas Team Black, it's like. I don't agree with them on a lot of things, and they really aren't going about doing things necessarily the... It's not that they're not doing things the right way. Well, Damon definitely doesn't do things the right way, but they just don't do anything to, like, further themselves. Like, Rhaenyra, yeah. spent, Rhaenyra has spent the better part of this season doing everything to, like... Like, she was given the chance to be heir, and now she's, like, bought into this dream of... At, you know, Aegon's dream, the Song of Ice and Fire. But she hasn't done anything the whole show to, like, help that out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. she's gone out of her way. Like, granted, now she's trying, she tried to mend, you know, the bridges before, but it was almost like she did everything in her power to, like, burn the bridges and kind of be like, eh, whatever, fuck it. And I mean, like, some of the calls that her and Damon have made have just been, like, questionable, but I'm still on their side. They're definitely a way, they're definitely better bets than Otto, Allison, Aegon, Aemon, Laris, Cole, anyone, anyone. on that side. I mean, they fucking murdered that lord. It was just like, bro, this is treason. <laughs> Dead. Yeah. Alright, any other questions? Mm. Yeah. So, I, Team Black. By the end of this show, because the story won't be done, I would like to like go through every member of Team Black and Team Green and list a good thing about them. And then why I'm not down with them. <laughs> yeah. Because I feel like there's enough... I think there's one of those two things for every single character right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty much. I don't think anyone's clean clean hands in this race at the moment. Um, yeah. Uh, except for... No, no, not even her. Damn, I was going to say maybe even Helena. There's a beast beneath the boards. Bro, That's also, what it was, okay. the dragon. What, Does she I, have foresight? We don't really talk yeah. about her, but I'm... I'm very confused. So, it's taboo for Damon and Rhaenyra to get together and weird, but she, Helena and Aegon, aren't they? Like, brother and sister. Like, yeah. why? I feel like that got brushed under the rug. I was thinking of that the other day when the two little boys were like, I'll do my duty if it comes to it. And I, and I remember we all had a reaction, and then, like, we never talked about it. And I don't feel like no one on the internet is talking about it, but, like... Why yeah. is, I mean, I think it's all, like, but why is Damon and Rhaenyra ick, but not that? Well, yeah, that's that's the thing that I understand. Like, even Allison was like, you you Targaryens and your queer traditions. But then, like, ten years later, she's like, all right, uh, so you guys got to get married? You have to marry your sister. Do Dap it. me up. And it's, it's, it's just like, okay, well, if y'all are going to be doing it, we are too. Like, I don't if think, this is the game we're going to be playing, like, I'm going to keep it. I, it's not that. I think it's more so just finding a suitable match for... You know, the boy. Boy. I'm like, I don't get it. Whatever. Yeah. Um. So, the king is dead. The king is dead. Long live the king. They had schemes already planned. Behind Allison's back. That that is the one part where I, I th this alone like the fact that they did all this behind Allison's back, or mm -hmm. planned it behind Allison's back, and the fact that she's like finally kind of like 
actually speaking up about how her dad's kind of just manipulated her his whole or her whole life. Like he's just like played her as a pawn in his game. Um, that's the one time where I actually feel like really bad for Allison the way she's doing things, or in the, her life and how it's transpired. Yeah, it's, but yeah, yeah, but yeah, Otto. They all they all planned to have Rhaenyra kill, killed off, regardless of Viserys's wishes, which is super fucked. Yeah. Oh man, the disrespect to the old man. No, just like, an idiot. Sit down. We, like no, oh. there's no no thought, no care. Just leave his corpse there. We're just gonna talk. We're gonna this continue through. our meeting after one of our core members has just been murdered. Yeah. I don't know. That I is mean, psychotic. I understand the technicality of why they did that, but it's just like I don't know. Yeah. I don't like this stuff. Yeah. And, um, you know, Allison, I can't. It's just the fact. Like, yeah, you're right about, like, feeling bad for her. I, 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 I do feel bad to a degree with her because she has let her life be led by her father all this time. Most of it has been, like, most of what she has practiced is based off of being a pawn in a chess, uh, like, a chessboard piece yeah. uh, by her dad. And, like, she does but it's, it's, it's so weird because she doesn't hold it, the things that Aegon does accountable, but maybe not that's at just, all. But that's just maybe that because the king. So what are you gonna do? Speak up against the king? Like like Joffrey was Cersei. Like Cersei never spoke up against Joffrey because Joffrey was malicious. Yeah, but and he could do something against the mom because they had let it get got that far out of hand because they never did proper parenting with him. But in fairness, like Joffrey, he didn't really get into his crazy streak until he was king. Whereas, like, Aegon has been, like, he already assaulted a woman. Yeah. He already, ha- ha- he's been playing in this, like, fucking fighting pit game with kids. And you know, like, his like, bastards from around town. Yeah. But it's like, Allison, does Allison have any ability to do anything about it because her dad doesn't give a care what Aegon does? Because that's Otto's bet. But also, it's like, why... Uh, why is Damon so radical and Aegon is not in Otto's eyes? If he's doing this for the better than the realm, why is Damon so such a critical thing to not have a, as a part of the realm, but Aegon is totally fine? Well, There's no way Otto he, doesn't know what Aegon They does. probably think that they can control Aegon because, because he's, he's a, a kid wind. and he's, well, a, yeah, he's, he's also, a pussy and he, he doesn't do anything for himself. He except, has no strength. Yeah, like, has no, Damon yeah. has men that are loyal. Like... Aegon, outside of being a little Targaryen kid, has no true... He pull. has no friends. He doesn't have pull in the kid. Yeah. Damon does, to but, an extent. Even though people don't like him, he does have gold cloaks that are still loyal to him. Yeah, he probably, does yeah. have dragons and kids with dragons and a wife with dragons. Like that's Probably another reason they haven't pushed for Aemon, because Aemon sees, seems to at least have... A good head on his shoulders and is fierce, and no one mm, well, could that, contend with him potentially. That's the uh, like. I feel like it hasn't been stated, and I know I, I initially I was kind of confused when both Otto and Allison were trying to get a hold of Aegon, and I don't think Otto is going to kill Aegon. I just think that Otto wanted to have control of the situation, just like Allison did. Like Kristen Cole is going to be Lord Commander. He's going to get named on this day, and he and I'm going to tell him that he's not going to kill Rhaenyra. Whereas, like Otto is probably like going to be like, this person is going to be your Kingsguard or Commander of the Kingsguard. You are going to commission like your first decree is going to be get kill Rhaenyra, kill Rhaenyra, and Daemon, and all those bastard children killed. Um. So, what was it? the The point I was bringing to that was that. Otto, fuck, I lost my train of thought. What were, what were we talking about right before you said that? We were talking about the craziness between a Damon and oh, a Aegon decision. Yeah, and, but like I think that ultimately, like Otto can control. Otto him. Otto's playing chess. Yeah. If you can't control him, guess what? You already have a second person that I can take your place. You're done, and gets another one to take the you know take the yeah. spot. He could easily. I mean, if he's willing to have. Like, he, to me, Otto doesn't show any love for Aegon. The only time we ever saw them interact was in that funeral episode. Um, kicked them while he and was he getting kicked, drunk. Yeah, he was, he was drunk and kicked them and then picked them, picked them up and threw them to the side. Like, he was a fucking, you know, like, he was a nobody. Like, yeah. he wasn't a prince to the king. So, 
like again, Otto is going to play this game a lot like Tywin and just whoever is necessary for Otto to remain in power and rule or have his control over you know the peace of the realm and the safety of the realm, he will take advantage of. Yeah. Um, uh, I think that's at the point where the castle gets put on lockdown. Yes. No one's allowed to leave. Everybody's put down in the cells. Uh, Rainey's is locked in a room. Yeah. People are told to bend the knee and not ask questions about it. And that's a... It's so, it's so infuriating. But it's just like one of those things where sometimes you might just have to bend the knee and hope you can change the situation later. Live yeah. the fight another day. Yeah, well, live the fight another day. Get back to your people when the time is called. It's like... At that point, it's survival. You'll be called a tr- uh, some, oath, uh, oathbreaker. oathbreaker but well, that's the thing. It's like you're going to be an oathbreaker either way because yeah. if they break Rhaenyra's yeah. oath, they're an oathbreaker, but they're serving the true, the the new true king. So why does it matter? But if they bend the knee to the, you know, or if they decide to not bend the knee to the new true king and still be honorable to Rhaenyra, they get axed. Because yeah. the yeah. smarter, would you rather be dead or oathbreaker. Yeah. This is where the Jamie conundrum comes in. Yeah. Do you disobey your father? Do you listen to a mad king? Yeah. <laughs> What's that hard, you're, hard, that you're sworn to? But not even just that. What's is is your honor more important than the survival of a million people? You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? There are however yeah. many is in King's Landing. Crazy. Um, <sighs> Jesus, this fucking episode. I, this is uh, this is so uncomfortable. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> So Otto commissions the two Eric and Eric. There's like it's an E Eric and an A Eric. Eric and uh, Eric. They end up playing a role. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, he commissions them to go find Aegon because Aegon is missing, and Allison commissions Sir, Sir Kristen Cole, Cole and uh, yeah, Eamon joins in to help find him. Um, and as they're going. They're, uh, both uh, both groups are kind of discovering like that Aegon is kind of even seedier than we've all believed. Even Kristen Cole's like, we're supposed to love and respect women. You know what I mean? They're the image of the mother. And it's like, bro, he just wants to get his dick wet. He doesn't look at these people as people. He looks at them as his things to play with. Yeah. Um, Goes to children pits. And yeah. Watches them scrap. And, and so that's and that's too where the divide of the two brothers that are serving Otto are because one when they were going into that pit he was like don't he well he was saying he was like don't you realize how much of a fucking scumbag Aegon is like this guy's trash like we shouldn't even try and find him at this point like there's Aemon you know it is what it is and then the other one was like no like we're supposed to serve him like it is what it is whereas um, you know on the other hand Aemon is like Bro, he does not deserve to be king. Like we should, we shouldn't find him. If I, if you were to find me, I would be found. I will be yeah. found. Once yeah. the time How comes, I will be found. Fun is that? Yeah, <laughs> that's a great thing to look out for because Amon is ambitious, and only Kristen Cole knows about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the other problem with that too is Aegon does have kids already too. So like, if Amon wanted to be yeah. king, he would have to kill his ne- his nephews at that point. And I think Aegon's I think Aegon understands that his brother doesn't like him in that regard too. Oh, because yeah. they had kind of a face off down the street. As it, it looked like Aegon was about to beg for his life because he knew like something in Aemon's eye. And then Aemon was like, "Come on, we're going to your mom." Instead of just do It looked it looked like for a moment that Aemon the thought cross that Aemon would just kill yeah, him. Yeah, right it looked there, like yeah. Aegon understood in that moment that it's up to Aemon to say if we're going to the mom or I'm killing you right here. Yeah. And then we just happened to transition and we never came back to that moment. Well, even well, a- even Aegon was like, you can put me on a boat, you'll never see me again. Because yeah. he expected Please to don't die. Kill me. Please don't kill me. But in reality, Aemon was like, you little fuckhead. Not you're, go- you're going to mom. Like, that's what's happening. Yeah, well, Aegon's the king now, so let's hope he's not bitter about that to his brother Aemon. Yeah. Um, Rainey's. Uh, Allison offered to Rainey's, you know, drift mark for her loyalty to Aegon. Um, and, you know, Rainey's kind of challenged Allison of, like, have you always lived your life just, like, wanting to be in the prison while, like, making a better window for your prison that you live in, being Ugh. surrounded by men and letting men rule? 
Whereas, like, Allison was like, we should be the gentle guide to, to the men of this world. <laughs> Which is just such a fucking stupid position. Rainey's has to be so sick of people trying to play on the whole, you should have been, been queen. queen. And it's I, like, every time that someone says it, she just, like, rolls, you can see, like, she wants to roll her eyes yeah. so damn hard. She's like, Shut she's like, fuck up. That was 40 fucking years ago. I like, don't care anymore. I've moved on. Please. <laughs> I'm content. Now fuck off. <laughs> I'm happy. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, bro. Uh, Laris. I don't like that at all. That was awful. The lights just stuttered as I said. Laris. I, I think this house got haunted when I mentioned that. that word. I'm not going to lie. I thought I fucking... I thought my I eyes... Thought, yeah, weird. I thought my eyes... Something happened. happened. That was I think weird. I'm going blind. <laughs> uh, so, he's doing this. What's he doing? For, for his, for for fun, for, for his, his own little fetish. his own little dream world. I knew it the second because I was like, that's 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 like, uh, that's dangerous. You don't show feet in this world. He was just staring like this the whole time. I just didn't understand. Like, I knew it. It was just funny because this is like a thing that we haven't seen yet. But she was like, "All right, to get my answers." Like here we go. No, we'll put, those, put, those put those rippers, rippers away, away Sonic. <laughs> I loved, I loved the the initial hint though. It was just like that, just the tips of the toes on the floor, the, and I was like, that's that you don't see queens do that. What is that? Yeah, and then I didn't it even look relaxing either. I thought she was trying to like rest her feet, but it was just like it got on worse. the ledge of the table. And worse and worse and worse. Yeah, it was also just like, don't you like feel like you're. In her own mind, because she's so pure and holy. Like, don't you feel like you're whoring yourself out at that point? Yeah, but I guess that's her little outlet to get a one-up on her dad at this point. She's got no friends either, really. I can't... I I just can't believe that. I think... The worst... The worst part was the fact that he actually stuck his hand in his pants. I couldn't believe that. This is like... This is like... The worst A family dinner gone horribly sour... But Last you week. have, but it has to keep on going sour. Like, but it keeps on getting worse. Like, th- pe- more things just keep getting more worse. Drama but ensues. no one can leave a room. But no yeah. one's allowed to leave a room because if you do so, the world dies. That's what this feels like. And but we're just learning about how continuously lonely and singular these people are, and like seedy they are. Yeah. No one, like, it feels like every single person in the show, it has no backing. Like, no, or at least the group we got stuck with today. All the greens are almost like solo Lone Rangers in their own right. Like, Otto, at the end of the day, is just with Otto. Allison is just with Allison, because she's against her dad now, or she's a bitter against her dad. She ain't with Loris. She's just using him. Loris is using her. Uh, Corliss's wife, I don't know her name. Rainies. Rainies. Rainies yeah. Is, uh, you know, obviously not with these people. Eric and Eric are against each other. Aemon and Aegon are against... Like, no one's with each other. The Greens are a collapsed shithole. Yeah. The White Worm is the only one that had backing today. Her little girl who went into the kid pit and got the dude's attention. Yeah. Oh, I love her. And she said... And she did all that to bring him down to threaten and said, I'm giving you to him. I, I could have killed, killed him. I could have killed him. You're going to fix this place up. Which is unfortunate because King's Landing ain't changed in another two hundred years from now. Yeah, Sweet Bottom never got any better. In fairness, it wasn't. Uh, there weren't any kid fighting pits to our knowledge. To our knowledge. So they may there may have been. We, we don't never know. saw them. Um, wasn't relevant. Wasn't relevant enough for the story. Yeah, I feel like that's okay. One gripe for the show. That was kind of a random point to just like the bastards. No, the, ch- the, ch- the children, the children fighting thing. Like it's just like it's never been a problem. No one has ever. We have literally, other than the first episode when Damon went and murdered all those people in Flea Bottom, we've never talked about Flea Bottom again of like its issues or its problems. And then randomly, it's like, oh, by the way, there's like kid fighting pits. And then now it's like one of the a character that was introduced early on that seemed important but isn't really important but is important because they have Aegon is like, um. This is a really big problem. This is like the whole crux of my character and why I'm doing these things. Yeah, well, it's just weird. It's just like a weird way to like throw it in there. It is amongst like, everything. First else. season, though. First season. I know, but Siege. she exists in a solely different show that we never got. That's only about the the goings on of Flea Bottom. Yeah, well, we'll have to see. I don't know. I, they should have just at least like peppered that in a little bit more for me to be like, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah. But in reality, it was just like two things. 
She fucks Damon. Now she's in charge of her well, thing. Now hey, she cares about kids. It made for some revealing moments for other characters that had to go and look because of the White Worm story. For sure. So at least she helped cater to tra- trajectories of characters' intentions, which yeah. was nice. Because now I'm down for Eamon to kill this stupid brother of his. Yeah. So down for he that. He needs to go. Roofy him. Kill him. Whatever you want. Yeah. It's fine. Um, uh, the good Eric... Whichever one that is, Eric good with Eric. an A or E, can't <laughs> the, remember. The the good Eric. The good Eric. <laughs> the good Eric released Princess Rainey's and got her. Was going to get her free, but she ended up getting funneled to the dragon pit with everyone else. Um, they declared Aegon as king, and Rainey's pulled up with her dragon, killed a bunch of people, and was like, "Nah," and for whatever reason, decided not to kill them. She showed them mercy, mercy for some reason, and probably just to be like, "Don't fuck with me anymore. I'm going home." <laughs> yeah, she might just go. I don't care like, anymore. Leave, I'm leaving. Leave the Valerians alone, please. <laughs> yeah, my my husband's in, gravely injured, and you trap me here. I want to go home. Like, yeah. There's no point of you still being here. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why. I don't know why yeah, she. I mean, she she could have solved all the kingdoms issues right there. Yeah, all the problematic characters. Maybe she she just didn't want to. You know, see how the vacuum occupies King's Landing after this. Yeah, doesn't, I mean, doesn't yeah. want to put all her cards just yet on Team Black and her allies. Yeah, I mean, in fairness, if she killed all those people, like anyone could have swooped in and taken over yeah. at that point. Because the Re- Rhaenyra, I was yeah. Daenerys. Rhaenyra was not ready to roll in at that point. Yeah, the, 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 the timing, the timing is not good, and at least there is stability. Yeah. Wait, if she leaves them be. Yeah. As much as stability can exist in this world, and um, yeah, that's a that's about it. And then we got we saw the preview, so now that we've seen the preview, if you guys don't want to hear about this part, I would say tune out because hope you have a nice day. Uh, we we are going back to Dragonstone. It looked like we have some people from King's Landing that have now left since there is no more need to, you know, be consolidated in King's Landing. Some of the King's Guard went over. Well, it looked well, it looked like. You heard one of the Eric's, the good Eric, yeah. was said, I will serve the true queen. Let's hope so. Alan goes there, too. So, yeah. I, I'd imagine that some of the King's Guard that are still loyal to Viserys' true wishes and the way that the realm was supposed to be passed on are going to, you know, watch out for her. And, um... And, I mean, it looks like everybody's kind of picking sides. Everybody's drawing up different battle plans. Looks like... J- uh, Jason Luke asked to get sent to King's Landing, so they, it looks like they're draft, drafting up siege plans too for King's Landing. Um, and Damon went down to tame a, a bigger dragon. It looks like I hope so. Yeah, for some reason, it looked like the mouth was like ripped off. Or it was a really like jagged looking face. It didn't yeah. look like anyone we had seen so far. Well, did he find a dragon egg last episode? Yeah, but yeah, those were. Three, I mean, remember how long it. Remember how long it took for Daenerys' dragons to grow. Mm. True. Yeah, Vagar was huge, dude. And Vagar is giant. So Big. Huge. He's a battleship. <laughs> he is. Yeah. I can't wait to see more of him, or her. Sorry, you guys corrected me. Yeah, it is a girl. I think. Um. Um. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, did this fucking fly. I feel like every episode I've been in recently, there's just been a random fly or mosquito just in here that shows up towards the end. It's Laris's B. Yeah. Laris's B. I don't want to end on Laris. We have to say anything other than him. Show feet. We need Amen to kill his brother. Okay. Here's yeah. here's the optimistic news. I saw a TikTok and it reminded me of a great story in the world of Ice and Fire. Yeah. Uh, the one of the there was a big theory guy that was very popular around. 2015. Now, he's probably bigger before that, but when Game of Thrones started to get a lot of traction from a lot of the good seasons back to back to back, like season four, season five, season six, uh, he was one of the guys who was like one of the big advocators for R plus L equals J theories um, and got that kind of sweeping across the internet. I'll probably link his videos because I can't remember what it's not called now, but one of the videos that I remember when I started getting really into theories, and this might be a trajectory for where this show might be hinting for later shows uh there's this continent and then there's Essos and then there's the southern one and I thought of it today because they mentioned the lands of Yeeti which 
I, I could be wrong, but I think it's like the equivalent of Asia for us. It's kind of the lands we never get to, because Daenerys gets pretty far. She gets to Vyas the Throck, which is one of the farthest lands, before East, there's a yeah. giant gap of mountains. And then Karth is technically the farthest south, yeah. before you get into what would be like the Africas, which is where Masande and Grey Worm come from. And they're, the Divide the Mountains, like there are more lands and there's a shy, but there's ancient stories just like Lightbringer and Azor High, which yeah. is like, I, I, there's, there's two story accounts, just like Full Metal, funny enough. Yeah. There's two story accounts of that event that happened during the Long Night. One, that's the Westerosi account, and then there's an Essos account about a man with the, the fire sword and all of that. Yeah. And some, one of the TikToks from this guy uh, was talking about how the story could technically continue because over in th- these series of mountains, there's an area where there's also a wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that. The Something, dead. yeah, the dead. It's not, like, ice dead, but I remember it's, like, just a skeletal things in the, the deep parts of the world. And people might believe that since it's an Earth, that it connects, and there, there might be more than just a... a night, like, Night King. And, you, I mean, you could even just argue, like, well, the Night King was created through the Children of the Forest, but... That magic still exists. Like, are the children of the forest the only ones to maintain that kind of magic? Could there still be ways to navigate and get better iterations? Yeah. And I know everybody on the internet still is holding strong that, you know, Daenerys is her body's being taken to Volantis, the Red Woman. They're gonna Jon Snow her. is literally going to have a TV show coming out. So while it might not seem relevant, we will find out and yeah. see who's right and wrong a couple years from now. And see, and they, they, people believe that the snow show is like it's just one of those fake words for what the real show is going to be called. So yeah, I, we'll and, see. And I know one thing too, because I saw that like Kit Harrington was like he's supposedly like producing or helping produce yeah. the show, and he was like really beat up by the way the show ended. Like just didn't, they ruined his character. Well, they ruined his character, but also he just didn't like he was super invested in the story, just like everyone else, yeah. and it just didn't end how like. I mean, you could you even saw in all the way you, every red carpet interview. Are you excited for this new season? They're no. like, uh, uh-uh. uh, no, because no one liked the way it turned out. Fuck Dan and Dave or whatever those fucking losers. Dave and Benny, Dave, off, whatever. Or DB, fuck those Cooper guys. Wise. But anyways, like I think that I really do think that Snow is going to be the extension of like what was actually supposed to happen, or at least a fix. Yeah. Maybe yeah. not what's actually supposed to happen. Like, I don't think they're going to retcon and pretend that season didn't happen, no. but at least extend the story to like make yeah. it fit what it should actually But be. here's what could be cool about that, too, because you could still get that plot with Jon. You can still get that feeling of Game of Thrones, because they remember how they left the finale to make it feel like you could have all these different spinoffs? Arya's going to a distant land. Well, if she goes this way, well, technically she could end up in the fucking land I'm talking about. Yeah. On the other side of the globe. And she jo- could end up in that conflict, and we could get to see those Asian portions. I don't know what it actually looks like, but I'm just using the analogy of yeah. Those portions of the land, and see, maybe they can, maybe not retcon, but uh, like kind of fix the story a bit. Yeah. Make people have a better taste in their mouth with this series. And, I mean, this is HBO's Pride, Pride and Joy show, like yeah. the series. So yeah, they're going to want to fix ever. this and make it as good and fun for people in its entirety. Anyway. Didn't want to end on Mr. Bumblebee, and I want to throw that little speculation out there for any people who don't listen to theories for yeah. some joy. Yeah. Well, a few who make it to this point in the video. But yes. Guys, make sure you leave a timestamp. Let us know your theories. Are you uh, happy about the state of the show? I sincerely believe that this is going to get darker before it gets brighter, so let's hope to, uh, you know. Have our hearts in check before we have heart attacks from the craziness that's gonna go on. Love you guys, punch it! And now that enough.